Trinity Edge, it's me, Pastor Ashley. We are plowing now into month two of our Memory Verse Challenge. So, I hope that you guys are having fun with the Memory Verse Challenge. Please get your verses into me. Email them to me, ashley at tbcsherwoodpark.ca, or you could have your parents call me and you could set up a FaceTime, or you could text me a video of you saying the verses. For every verse you say, you will be entered in the draw for a prize at the end of the month, which is a Dairy Queen gift card. So if you like Dairy Queen, get your verses into me. Also, if you know the books of the Bible and you want to recite the books of the Bible, you can send those to me too and your name will go in the draw. So we are continuing through the Bible. We have covered all the way from Genesis up to the book of Joshua. We've been following with the Israelites, with their leader Moses, and then their leader Joshua. And now after Joshua has died, we are entering into the book of Judges, where the new leaders of Israel are the judges. God called specific individuals to lead his people. And what's interesting is that each one of these judges has some really cool stories of how they had to fight or defend the nation of Israel from the nations that surrounded Israel. You'll remember, the Israelites were traveling to the Promised Land, and they finally got there, but they weren't alone. All these other nations were already living in that area, and the Israelites had to fight. They had to fight the Philistines and the Midianites, and they had to fight, and they needed a leader to help them do that, to rescue them, and defend them, and protect them, and God was with them, and God helped them do that. But if you like really like action-packed stories where God does great big things, you're gonna really like the book of Judges. Our verse today comes from Judges chapter six. That's the story of Gideon. He was the fifth judge of Israel, and he didn't feel like a mighty warrior. In fact, he had really big doubts that God was gonna do big things and help the Israelites defeat the Midianites. But God had plans for Gideon, and God was gonna defend and protect the Israelites, and he was gonna use Gideon to do it. So our verse comes from Gideon, uh, sorry, Judges chapter six, verse 12, which says, when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. How often do you feel like a mighty warrior? Yeah, sometimes things are going on in life that feel hard. Maybe we are having a hard time getting along with a brother or sister or a friend, or school is really hard, or I, there's all kinds of stuff that can be going on that feels tough. And in those moments, we can be like Gideon, where we start to doubt that God's actually gonna do big things when we need him to. But he does, it's who he is and he's always with us. And the message that God gave to the angel to give to Gideon, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. That's a message for us too. God is with you and because of that, you are a mighty warrior. So I hope you enjoy reading the book of Judges. There's a lot of really cool stories in there. You can read about Samson and his whole story is just crazy. Um, but God really made him strong and made him a mighty warrior too. And uh, yeah, he killed a lion with his bare hands. All kinds of crazy stuff happens in the book of Judges. Um, but our next verse is from the book of Ruth. And the book of Ruth is, uh, it's one of the love stories in the Bible. And it's a story maybe you already know about a young woman named Ruth who lives with her mother-in-law after both of their husbands had died. And they've come back to the nation of Israel and Ruth she worked really hard to um, provide for her and her mother-in-law and she started working in the fields and that's how she met a young man named Boaz and our verse today is from Ruth chapter 3 verse 11 where Boaz says to Ruth now my daughter do not be afraid I will do for you whatever you ask for all my people in the city know that you are a good woman Ruth's reputation preceded her. She showed a lot of character in being willing to care for her mother-in-law, but also that she had come from a nation outside of Israel, one of those other nations that was kind of at war with Israel, and she had made God's laws 
her way of life. It's really important that we understand that the story of Ruth takes place during the same timeline as the book of Judges. So Ruth was from one of those nations that was uh, kind of at war with the Israelites and she didn't live like the Israelites lived. But she had come and she had become a part of their people and she had adopted their ways and the laws of God and she made them her own and she showed a lot of character. So Boaz took notice of that and Boaz was willing to um, pay whatever had to be done to ensure her safety and that she was taken care of. And in many ways it's this picture of how Jesus did the same thing for us all the way in the New Testament when he redeemed us. Um, by paying the price for our salvation so we could have eternal life and we could have uh, life with him. And so it's really cool. And Boaz and Ruth actually ended up being part of Jesus's family tree, um, which is really cool as well. So there's a lot of interesting things to learn from the book of Ruth, but it's a great story to read too. So I've shared with you two memory verses and two books of the Bible that are full of great stories and have a whole bunch of things to teach us. So I would love for you guys to find some time to just, yeah, read some of those stories and uh, enjoy the book of Judges, the book of Ruth. Those might take you a while, but we have time on our hands, guys. So if you're not getting into your Bibles, what are you doing with your time? I'm just kidding. I hope you guys are finding time to do all sorts of fun things and uh, that you guys are handling these last days of June when we should be having fun finishing up the school year and I know it's been hard for you guys to be moved to um, doing school online. I hope you guys are doing well with it. I miss you. I wish we could be hanging out but I would love for us to be in touch even with you sending me in videos of you saying your memory verse challenge. Let me know how you're doing and uh, your name will get entered in the drop for a Dairy Queen gift card at the end of the month. Remember our verses from May those are done now. But that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be lots of chances for you to enter the draw in the month of June. Thank you so much for following along. And uh, yeah, until I see you guys again, bye-bye everybody.